Catholic schools do a wonderful job because if you go to a Catholic school, you're seven times more likely to practice your faith as an adult versus if you went to a public or a charter school. So the Archbishop realizes how important that is. That's why a year ago during Catholic Schools Week, he released Unleashing Our Catholic Schools. And he says within it, we got to do four things to make sure our Catholic schools are going to be excellent. Number one, they got to be proudly Catholic. Number two, academically excellent. Third, accessible to all. And fourth, sustainable for the future. So during that year, we've done a lot of things. And I'll just give you one quick example. So for example, we partnered with the University of Notre Dame, uh, even though I know we have a lot of Wolverines and Spartans here in the state of Michigan, uh, but the Irish have come up to Detroit and we're working with them to make anywhere from six to 12 Catholic schools here in the Archdiocese into Catholic STEM schools. So that's very exciting. That's just one thing. We've been training principals. We've been doing a lot of faith formation. Uh, and it's wonderful, but I could talk about any of that stuff, but if your speakers, or more so your listeners, I should say, want to hear more, they can go to DetroitCatholicSchools.org. We have all that stuff up there. Religious order schools have a great importance in the church. Each religious order brings a different charism. So it's kind of funny because when you take a look at the Christian brothers, there's two types. You got the French Christian brothers where De La Salle comes in, and then also within the same archdiocese, they have a slightly different charism. You have the Irish Christian brothers, and that's, for example, Brother Rice. But frankly, everyone brings their unique gifts and talents to bear, and that is what makes Catholic education that much that so much more enriching and enlivening here in the Archdiocese. So the Archbishop in Unleashing Our Catholic Schools said a little bit more than a year ago, we need to ensure that every single Catholic family that wants to go to a Catholic school is going to be able to go, irrespective of their economic situation or circumstance. I mean, yours truly, I mean, I'm over here, I, I grew up here on the east side, I couldn't go to a Catholic school. I couldn't go to De La Salle, I couldn't even go to St. Clement, which is now closed, uh, which was my parish elementary and high school. The thing is though, one of the big reasons why I got into this job is to make Catholic schools affordable. So I can say this much right now, the Archbishop and I and others are taking this very seriously. We're actually over the past 18 months we've been working on this. So you're going to see some very exciting announcements during calendar year 2020, during this year, where we're going to be able to say to people, we're going to make it affordable. And frankly, I'm looking forward to it because every seat should have a unique soul in it. And we have some empty seats, so let's fill them up with the children of the Archdiocese of Detroit. Yeah, so Catholic Schools Week is at a wonderful time to just celebrate everything that Catholic schools have done and what they will continue to do. Catholic schools, for example, they've saved the American taxpayer $24 billion last year. Actually, if you go to Catholic school, you're more likely to practice your faith. You're actually going to be earning 14% more over the course of your lifetime. If you're a student of color, you're 2.4 times more likely to earn a college degree. We've done tremendous things in all of our Catholic schools throughout the country. So this week here in the Archdiocese, the Archbishop will be celebrating Mass, actually not only at the cathedral, where it's going to be jam-packed with kids from 87 different Catholic schools, but actually at the same time, he's inviting all 64 elementary schools, in addition to the high schools, to celebrate Mass at exactly the same time he does. That means you're going to have 27,000 kids, roughly speaking, celebrating Mass at the same time. You have 3,000 educators, and who knows how many thousand thousands of parents, all thanking God for the gift of our Catholic schools, and even on top of that, doing what Solanus Casey has said, thanking God in advance. Thanking God in advance for what? For all the good that the men and women who attend our Catholic schools have done and what they will continue to do. I take a look at our schools and all the wonderful things that they're able to do. We need them more now than ever. Catholic schools are inextricably linked to the health of the church. There's a 97% correlation between ordinations to the priesthood and actually Catholic school enrollment. So the more we're able to grow our Catholic schools, not only are we going to have more Catholics, but we're going to have the priests, actually they're going to be on the other side of the pew at the altar celebrating Mass. So for our Catholic schools, 
schools, the better and the stronger that they are in the future, the better and the stronger the Archdiocese of Detroit will be for many years and decades to come. Mm -hmm.